in my previous videos i have shown you the linear application that means the when the operational amplifier is in negative feedback then we have shown the operational amplifier integrator circuit differentiator circuit sum summing amplifier difference of operational amplifier subtractor circuit inverting amplifier non inverting amplifier now i will show you some non linear application of operational amplifier an operational amplifier will operate in non linear region when it is either in positive feedback or in open loop configuration so let me recall our operational amplifier open loop configuration let's say this is an operational amplifier it does not have any direct connection between output terminal and any of the input terminal that means it is an oper open loop configuration so here our this operational amplifier has an open loop gain of a so our output voltage vo will be equal to a into v i input voltage difference and here vi is v p minus v n now an operational amplifier has an open loop gain in ideal case it is infinity but in practical case it can vary from 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 8 that means it is a very high value because of that even at the slightest amount of input voltage our operational amplifier will operate in the either positive saturation or negative saturation region of operational amplifier because of this high open loop gain okay so an operational amplifier when operates in saturation region its saturation voltage usually controlled by positive saturation is controlled by positive supply voltage and negative saturation is controlled by its negative supply voltage that means its saturation voltage will be nearly equal to our positive supply voltage vs and its negative supply voltage will be nearly equal to minus vs in practical case this saturation voltage is slightly lower than this and these supply voltages so we assume that it is one volt less than our supply voltage if let's say if i bias this operational amplifier with two supply voltage plus 15 volt and minus 15 volt then when the operational amplifier is in open loop connection its positive saturation voltage will be 14 volt and when it is in negative saturation voltage it will have a an output voltage of minus 14 volt this means that the saturation voltage is slightly lower than this bias voltage so an operational amplifier uses this property that even at slightest input voltage it will operate either in the positive saturation or negative saturation region so this uh, this property is used by an operational amplifier to use it as a comparator circuit now let me show you the operational amplifier comparator circuit now i will show you the operational amplifier comparator circuit let me look at at first look at the word compare if we comp want to compare anything then we have to compare that with a certain set of standard or what we call it as reference an operational amplifier comparator is just like that it will act it will be connected in open loop mode and it will compare a voltage source with a known reference voltage and as the operational amplifier is in open loop mode due to its high gain a it will give saturation output voltage will be in either positive saturation or negative saturation region so an operational amplifier comparator is nothing just it it takes two input voltage one is v input voltage vi and another is known reference voltage and produce output voltage vo either positive saturation or negative saturation an operational amplifier comparator circuit is classified into two types non-inverting comparator and inverting comparator 
Okay, now I am going to show you operational amplifier non-inverting comparator. Before going to the co comparator, always remember that an operational amplifier has a very high open loop gain. That means A can be 10 to the power 5 to 10 to the power 8. I, I want to mean that the open loop gain of the operational amplifier is very high. Therefore, a very small amount voltage at the input VD can operate the operational amplifier either in positive or negative saturation. Here this is called non-inverting comparator because we are applying the reference voltage in the inverting terminal and we are applying the input voltage at the non-inverting terminal. The comparator name is named after its applied voltage the terminal where we applied apply the voltage will be that types of comparator here we are applying the sinusoidal voltage vi see there is no direct connection between output and input therefore this is in open loop mode and our vd is the voltage difference between inverting and non inverting terminal so i can write vd equal to see here non-inverting non terminal voltage VP equal to VI and inverting terminal is VREF and our output voltage VO equal to A into input voltage difference VD if VD is positive even if it is in some micro or or in millivolt range this small amount of voltage will be multiplied with this high gain therefore our operational amplifier will operate in the positive saturation region see let me show you the waveform here I have applied the positive reference voltage so th the green shaded region is our positive reference voltage and this is our input voltage the sinusoidally varying waveform when this VI crosses this VREF that means VD equal to VI minus VREF is slightly positive then our output voltage VO will be A into V D that means when we apply when we multiply this voltage difference with uh, this high gain our operational amplifier will operate in the positive saturation region and which is controlled by our positive supply voltage with this positive supply voltage plus Vs S therefore from this interval to this interval our input voltage will be greater than our reference voltage therefore our operational amplifier will operate in the positive saturation region when this input voltage Vi is less than our reference voltage that that means V D equal to V I minus V R E F. See this is less than this voltage. Therefore our V D will be negative. So our output voltage V O when multiplied when our input voltage when multiplied with this high gain will operate in the negative saturation region in the interval when the input voltage is less than reference voltage see up from this point to this point our input voltage this is our input voltage is less than the this reference voltage therefore our operational amplifier will operate in the negative saturation region from th this interval to this interval our input voltage is greater than the reference voltage so operational amplifier will operate in the positive saturation region from this interval to this interval from this interval to this interval input voltage is less than the reference voltage therefore operational amplifier will operate in the negative saturation region as i have described 
here okay now let me draw the transfer characteristics of this operational amplifier non-inverting non comparator the property of the non-inverting comparator is that when vi crosses the v refer reference voltage input this difference will be positive therefore output voltage will be in positive saturation when this vi is less than our reference voltage that means in this case our input voltage difference will be negative therefore output voltage will be a into bd vd equal to negative saturation voltage now the transfer characteristics show th how the input voltage how the output voltage changes with respect to the input voltage let's say I am taking the input voltage in the x-axis and output voltage in the y-axis and this is our positive reference voltage the points in the right towards right from this point that means this region input voltage will be greater than reference voltage therefore the operational amplifier will operate in the positive saturation region this is that region and the points from this point to the uh, to, to left our input voltage will be le less than the reference voltage therefore operational amplifier output voltage will be in negative saturation voltage and usually the negative saturation voltage is controlled by negative power supply so it will be it will tend to minus vs and this positive saturation is controlled by our positive supply voltage so it will be plus v yes okay when i will be talking about practical inver non-inverting operational amplifier comparator circuit in that circuit we will use two diode d1 and d2 connected in opposite direction and connected in parallel to control the excess amount of input voltage applied between these two input terminals therefore these diodes d1 and d2 are called protective or clamp diode of operational amplifier okay that's it thank you